Hello and welcome to a video on compound interest. Now, the difference between simple interest and compound interest is that simple interest is the interest gain on the invested amount, meaning that the simple interest will always stay the same. However, the compound interest will grow based on the invested amount and the interest, meaning that the interest is always growing. So for simple interest, the interest will stay the same. For example, if the interest amount is 100 Rand, okay, every year your invested amount will increase by 100 Rand. However, with compound interest, depending on the rate, compound interest will grow based on the previous value. Okay? So if in the first year the interest was 100 Rand, in the second year the interest could be 150 Rand. And then the third year could be 200 rand interest. So the interest is increasing, okay, every year. However, with the simple interest, it would remain 100% for year one, for year two, for however amount of years that you are investing in. Let's have a look at the graph between simple interest and compound interest. Now, in this graph, you can clearly see that the amount that you invest at the beginning would be $100 under 10% simple and compound interest, with the purple graph indicating the simple interest and the red graph indicating the compound interest. And as you can see, for the first year, it's the same. And as the years go on, the compound interest is exponentially increasing compared to the simple interest which remains the same okay and that increases your investment amount constantly however with the compound interest it increases your amount based on the previous value so you make more as you go with compound so when you do end up investing it is better to invest with compound interest now the formula for compound interest is as follows it is A equal to P brackets 1 plus I over 100 close bracket to the power of N. Now, A is the future amount. P is the invested amount. This is 1. Then you say plus interest rate, which is I, could be 15%, 12.5%, whatever. That over 100 <clears throat> all to the power of N, which is the number of years. Now, let's look at an example where we apply this formula. Now, let's have a look at the first example. Diego invests 18,000 Rand for six years at 15% per annum compounded annually. Find the future value of his investment after six years and the interest he receives. Now, let's jot down some important information from that question. So, Okay, now that we have jotted down our important information from that question, we know that P is the invested amount, which is 18,000 Rand. I is 15% per annum, which means per year, and it's compounded annually. That's important to note. Okay, and then the time is six years. We need to find the future value. Okay, so for us to find the future value, we're going to use the compound interest formula, and that's saying A is equal to p which is the investor amount which is eighteen thousand. you're going to just simply plug that in there bracket one plus the interest is 15 percent so you're going to have 15 over 100 close the brackets t which is six years you're going to have the t six as the exponent over there and then you simply put that into a calculator so when you do plug it into your calculator there, we have 18,000 like that. Open up the bracket, 1 plus fraction, 15 over 100, close the bracket, press the exponent button, 6. And then we have an answer of 41,635.09. Now, we have the amount. 41,635,09, that value is his amount after investing for six years. So once you've invested 18,000 and you left it in to invest for six years, 
at the end of the six year period, you now have 41,635 rand, 0.09 cents. The next question was, what was the interest that was gained from this? Now, for us to find the interest, okay, so the interest is equal to, we're going to take the A minus the P. So, in other words, the final amount, which is 41,635,09, and you're going to subtract it from your initial invested amount. When you do that, you find out how much interest was earned, and that is 23,635.09. Now, if you look at the two values there, important to note, that the 41,000 is how much this person has after investing. And the 23,000 is what they gained. Okay. So, yes. Try this one for yourself. $1,500 is invested at 5% per annum compound interest. What will be the investment worth after five years? Okay. Try that one. Comment your answer down below and I will let you know if you are correct at the end of the video. Let's have a look at another example. Diana has just opened a small coffee shop and takes out a loan to provide the initial capital to start the business. She agrees to repay the loan four years later by means of a payment of 800,000 Rand. The bank charges an interest rate of 18% per annum compounded annually. What is the amount of money? she originally borrowed okay so in other words they are telling us what would be the final amount the final amount is eight hundred thousand okay that she has to pay back right so the principal amount that was initially loaned we don't know we have to figure that out then the amount that she has to repay is 800,000 Rand, which is the final amount. Okay, the interest rate is given to us as 18%, and the time is given to us as four years. Now, again, we're going to go to the simple interest formula. Okay, we know that A is equal to P brackets 1 plus I over 100, close brackets, N. Now, in the formula, we substitute A as 800,000 equals to P is unknown, 1 plus I, which is 18%, simply substituting into the formula, and the years is 4. Okay, and we know that we want to find P, it's almost like solving for X. So, in a way, we are dividing both sides by this entire fraction. Okay, so then we have this situation over here. Or you could have done this in your calculator and then divided that answer. Okay, so this will cancel it. E. So P will equal to 800,000 over 1 plus 18 over 100, close bracket, to the power of 4. Now, to show how we do that into our calculator, we have 800,000 bracket, sorry, fraction, then we have bracket 1 plus 18 over 100, close bracket to the power of 4. This is the initial amount that you borrowed to start the business. That is the initial amount she started, she loaned to start a business, okay? And then she has to repay 800,000. That is almost double she has to repay. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and comment for more. Thank you.